Morning guys, it's day two on the Norfolk coast and I'm in the sand dunes again and I'm going to wander around and look for uh, some more grey seals uh, and I'm having a fantastic morning. Uh, I've got a few shots in the bag but I'm going to keep wandering around and uh, see what I can find, looking for different bits of behaviour uh, and stuff like that, you know, because it's not just about getting shots of the seals, you want different shots, you know, so sometimes you get the mums sort of nuzzling uh, the pups so that they, uh, they, they'll start feeding, uh, you'll get the females fighting off the males, there's all sorts of stuff going on and you just need to keep your eyes open and look for that. Um, you might have noticed I'm not looking uh, uh, too great today, not exactly designer clothes on, uh, but the fact of the matter is um, it's going to rain later on so uh, I don't want to get soaked so I've got my waterproofs on, but not only that, even if it wasn't raining, actually it's a good idea to put waterproof over trousers on because the sand is really cold and really wet and it's nothing worse than being uncomfortable when you're trying to do photography. So if you've got these uh, waterproof trousers on, you're going to stay nice and dry, nice and warm. I've got loads of layers on top, waterproof top, a fleece, jumper, t-shirt. So uh, yeah, I think it's one of those little photography tips, you know, I think it's really important to be comfortable because if you're not warm and you're not dry, there's no way you're going to concentrate on your photography as much. So uh, yeah, it's all good. Uh, I'm going to have a wander around, as I say, these dunes, see what else I can find before the rain comes in, but it's going to be really stormy this afternoon. So I think I've only got this morning, but you know, that's okay, that's Norfolk in the winter. I've got my Z6 II with my 200 to 500 millimeter zoom, and I'm gonna shoot a, a minimum of a 500th of a second. Um, so A, I avoid camera shake, and B, um, the, um, the seals don't move that quickly um, when they're sort of, uh, you know, the mums and the pups are together and stuff like that. But sometimes the, uh, the males might chase one another and then they do move quite quickly, or the females might be chasing a male off because she doesn't want a mate yet. So you wanna be able to uh, freeze that motion. So a minimum of 500, of a second, shutter speed I think is a good idea. You can get a thousandth of a second, even better, but with the low light levels, probably 500th will be fine. Uh, I don't mind shooting wide open. I'm not at the moment, I'm on f7.1, but I can go to f5.6 as the light levels drop, which is the maximum aperture for my zoom lens. Uh, and I'm on, I think, ISO 400 at the moment, maybe 800. But the light's not too bad. Uh, but the, the cloud is starting to move in as we speak actually, so, uh, I think light levels will start dropping quite soon. But yeah, it's all good. So um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon, guys. I'm going to wander around these sand dunes and see what else I can find. So bye for now.
Hi guys, well it's um, about an hour before I leave Norfolk. Uh, it's about an hour before sunset and uh, I'm going to wander around and see if I can find any seals to photograph just to finish off the day, but it's been absolutely fantastic. I've been up here for a few days, I've been up here for a few days and um, the uh, Norfolk has thrown all sorts of weather at me. I've had wind and rain, I've had wind, I've had sunshine, I've had still conditions, but it's been superb because all of those different types of weather give us different photo opportunities. When it's windy, you've got crashing waves, the sun gives us nice directional sunlight, and then if it's cloudy, you get lovely soft lighting that brings out the texture and uh, the sort of detail on the sill. So all said and done, all of these types of weather conditions have been really good. So yeah, I've got about an hour left now and then I'm going to head for home. Uh, it's been superb. There's been loads of uh, behaviour between the males and the females, the females and the pups. It's been absolutely a brilliant few days. And as I say, when it comes to light, uh, when you've got that l uh, low directional sunlight, that's brilliant because you can uh, work the direction of light to bring the best out in that subject. Uh, but it does mean you're constantly changing position. When you've got soft lighting, um, it doesn't really matter what angle you, you're at when it comes to photographing the subject because that light is soft and even. So in some respects it's a little bit easier because you haven't got to keep changing your camera positions as the seal moves and the angle of light moves on the animal you're photographing. But as I say, it's been absolutely brilliant. All this different weather has been superb and uh, I've enjoyed my time uh, in Norfolk immensely. So um, if you can, if you have, if you like this uh, video, if you can give it a like, a thumbs up, that always helps my channel and that will be brilliant. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, if you like what you've seen today, uh, I've got lots of videos about landscape photography, lots of wildlife photography videos, and some about equipment. Um, so if you can consider if you can consider subscribing, that would be brilliant. Um, and it's free to subscribe, so you know, um, yeah. Just and if you do subscribe, press the little bell icon, and you'll be notified when my next video is uploaded. So yeah, uh, bye uh, from Norfolk. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you on my next video. So bye for now, guys.